One time for Joe Ashen. It wasn't rooting for you, Joe. Sorry, man. Buka had his shot, but Hashem got off the hook. If I ever complain about a bad beat again, just remind me of this. <laughs> a world champion suck out. The 2008 World Series of Poker, presented by Milwaukee's Best Life, main event. Back inside the Rio on the E-Trade Financial Tournament ticker, a reminder of the current chip colors and denominations. All players begin with 20,000 in chips. Among the top pros in the field today, John Jawada, three-time bracelet winner. He's in a hand right now with main event rookie, 22-year-old Matt Ross from Liverpool, New York. Jawanda puts out a bet. Ross growls at Jawanda. <laughs> I had the same hand as last hand. You win. Jawanda 12th all-time in World Series caches, but hasn't won a bracelet since 2003. Elsewhere, we find Jeff Madsen. He won both his bracelets in 2006. He's in a big hand right now with Ken Liu. Pair of sixes on the flop. Madsen's pocket tens lead Liu's pocket trays. And there's a tray on the turn. Madsen is hurting. Liu with a full house. Call him. Call Let's look at him. Madsen moves in all in, though. Point Jake. And a call from Liu. Wow. And Jeff Madsen sees the bad news. He's all in and well behind. Only a 10 or a 6 saves him. River card is a 6, wow. and Matson wins it. I'll take, I'll take the river. It's Poker champions game. hit river cards. Guys with baseball caps on backwards sit with no chips. So sixes full of 10s will win the pot for Madsen. Poker's easy. Yeah, it might be easy, but it sure is heart-stopping. All right, let's head back over to our featured table where Mike Mattiso is in the center ring, and a lot of people around the main event have noticed that Mike looks a little trimmer this year. Seriously, have you been really working out, Mike? Oh, well, I haven't been since the World Series. But you look thinner. I lost 60 pounds. I mean, what do you want? 40 of that was ego. I want to give you a compliment and you say thank you. I think that's about how it works. In uh, how's that? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, thank you. Greg Geller noticed Mike's dramatic weight loss, but that was just the beginning to a whole new outlook on life and poker for the mouth. Last year, I weighed a lot and didn't like the way I looked, and Ted Forrest just said, wow, how fat are you? And I said, oh, I just got on a scale yesterday and said 241. I almost puked. It's hard to believe it. 2001, I weighed 181. And he goes, I'll bet you 100,000 you can't get back there. I go, you got to bet. I started working out real hard. Man, I feel much better. Well, this is what exercise does for you. So I was running an hour of cardio a day. Yeah, meanwhile, I was just drinking protein shakes. and I mean, I didn't eat a piece of bread for five months. I'm tired, man. 12.01 on June 3rd. I weighed in at 179. Greatest accomplishment of my life. I got a lot of heart, baby. A lot of heart. I've been through rough, rough times in my life. And I've been through mental hell every which way you could think of. And I, I can't ever remember anything more mentally torturous than when I'm trying to make that weight loss bet. Mike's back! Yeah. Watch out! Last year, it just dawned on me that I'm always negative. So went out and bought a bunch of books on the power of positive thinking. And um, when I accomplished that, I knew I was going to have a big World Series. Yes! Yeah! Mike, uh, all I can say is I am incredibly proud to award you your third World Series of Poker. When you believe in yourself, and you have the confidence, and you believe in the power of positive thinking, it's amazing. Yeah, the old Mike believed he was the unluckiest player alive. The new Mike, you heard him say it, believes in the power of positive thinking. I just like the all-around new Mike. I'm happy Mike, skinny Mike, love life Mike. Song in his heart. And two hearts in the pocket, ace king for Mattiso. Really a sick structure. And he limps in. Action folds to Greg Geller from Denver. He flips houses for a living, ace jack of diamonds, and he limps in. In the big blind, Kim Vodka looks down at 6-4. I have to check the paperwork on my marriage. Checks her option three to the flop, and Mattiso hits top pair. He's got top kicker. Vodka missed that flop. She checked. Mattiso checks with the best hand. Geller hit the ace, too, but his kicker's no good. He bets 300. And Geller likes his aces, understandably. Vodka folds. And Mattiso raises to seven and a quarter. Well, the new Mike doesn't mind check raising. Geller now with the second best ace comes along. Heads up to the turn. Turn card is a nine of diamonds. A flush draw now for Geller. Mattiso checked. 1,200. Geller bets it. Sure, if I'm Geller, I think I have the best hand. That's why me and Geller don't win. <laughs> Mattiso has the best hand and makes a call. 
River card is another ace. Trips for both. Matiso gets the check mark with the king kicker, and he checks again. Geller makes it 3,000. The mouth has to believe it's possible. Geller has ace queen and has filled up. I wish the new Mike would think out loud like his buddy Daniel Negreanu. Ooh. You want to hear what goes through that mind? <laughs> I also wouldn't mind if the new Mike shaved. He calls. Oh. Oh. Okay. And Madison takes the pot. Pads his stack with the help of Greg Geller. Yes. And the new Mike, steady as he goes, stays on an even keel. Yeah, Madison running good so far. Geller oh, came up oh, just yeah. short, and the mouth has even more reason to roar. This is going to be a fun day. I'm just trying to make it through the day. That's all I want to do. Welcome back to the Rio. Each year at the main event, we meet many interesting people, hear many interesting news stories, and this year is no different. One such person is Mike Wilson. Mike was born without any arms, but that has not stopped him from living life to the fullest, including playing poker. Right now, Mike is in a hand against top pro and recent bracelet winner J.C. Tran. Tran won his first WPT title in 2007 and his first World Series bracelet in 2008. And Wilson will put out a bet of 1,300 to Tran. J.C. Tran, a no-limit hold'em specialist, one of the best in the game. All right. Uh, well, Mike put a little pressure on J.C., and J.C. lays it down, and Mike Wilson wins the pot. And I've heard of you before. <laughs> so Wilson off to a good start. Elsewhere, a man who had a good start and a great finish to the 06 main event, David Einhorn. He finished 18th that year. Einhorn is president of a successful hedge fund and is credited with correctly predicting recent financial trends. What, he couldn't call me before I bought a house in Las Vegas three years ago? <laughs> It looks like his business instincts are spot on and carrying again over to the poker table. I told you we're going to have some fun today. Nearby is another player you may remember from 2006. The cameras are here. They are here for Dimitri Nobles, the talkative former car salesman from Houston who had a memorable rise and fall in that main event. So much, man. I'm going to show you a bluff, too. I'm going to show you a bluff when you fall. He's in a big hand with Henry Tran right now. Tran moves all in, and he's way ahead. I think Dimitri would play better with the visor right side up. Dimitri's going to lose that hand, and Tran will double up through a suddenly silenced Dimitri Nobles. How do you call this? Well, that's how you become a champion. I should have zipped it up for once. You call it anyway? Well, why you take so long, man? You're taking life off of me. Hey, eventually we all die. So Dimitri loses a chunk of chips. The spectators are shoulder to shoulder here in the Rio Poker Room. Many wanting to catch a glimpse of Joe Hashem at table two. He's in a hand with Torsten Gubel right now after the flop. Both have two aces, but Gubel's king kicker gives him the advantage. Turn card is a seven, and that pairs the board. King kicker still plays for Gubel. Gubel, a software engineer. Bet 2, That's 2,500 into Hashem. Call. Hashem quickly calls. The 05 champion in the uncustomary position again, getting his money in bad. But that queen on the river makes it all good for Hashem. He's got aces and queens and earns the check mark. Check. Google checks. Should I bet now? You got lucky. Why wouldn't you bet now? I'm almost scared to bet. Hashem maybe fears Google has a seven in his hand. I think I have to bet, but I'm scared. Or perhaps just a little Hollywooding from Joe. I have to bet, but I'm scared to bet. Winston Churchill didn't make speeches this long before betting. 